Okay, so we would like to find the projection of the vector 1 to negative 1 onto the vector 1, 1, 1. So let's explain everything from scratch. Let's explain what the projection of a vector onto another vector is and how we find it. So let's say that we have a vector u and we also have a vector v. What does it mean to project u onto v? So basically, we will again start by making those vectors originate at the same point. Um, not even this is needed, but you know, it makes things a little more transparent. So here's u and here's v. And now what we do is we project in the usual geometric sense the, the segment that represents u onto the segment that represents v. And that's, let me use a different color here. So let me use this color. And this one here is exactly the projection of u onto v. Please notice how we write that. So, so u is the vector that is being projected and v is the vector that it's being projected onto. What we need to realize here is that uh, all that matters is not really the vector v, but rather the line that contains the vector v. So to make this clear, if I draw any line that is parallel to the vector v, you will see that I don't even need the vector v itself. I can draw the vector u right here. And then I find its projection in the usual way. So, so in some sense, the vector v, the only uh, role that the vector v has is to actually give us um, the line that uh, contains it. And there's a very nice physical interpretation to this, which is the following. So this is the projection right here. Uh, if, for example, uh, we have an object that moves, and this is the uh, vector of its uh, motion, and we have a force that applies to it, then this force can be analyzed into two forces, one which is parallel. Whoops, sorry about this. So here's the force one which is parallel uh, to the movement of that object and one which is perpendicular. And it's exactly the parallel one that produces all work. Okay, so it's pretty much as if the perpendicular one doesn't even exist. So what is the formula for the projection? So the projection uh, of the vector u onto the vector v is given by this formula. It uses the dot product. So it's u dot v on the top over v dot v on the bottom. So please notice that these are numbers and you should under no circumstances um, cancel v with v here because you would get something that makes no sense, the quotient of two vectors. So this, this will be a number. Let me denote it like this with a pound sign meaning scalar. And then we scale the vector v by that number. And that's the formula. OK? So also, I remind you that, uh, in case you don't remember it, that if the vector u is u1, u2, u3, and the vector v is v1, v2, v3, in general, not just for this problem, then their dot product is given by the formula uh, u1 v1 plus u2 v2 plus u3 v3. I think that with all these explanations, we, you could easily pause the video here and actually solve the problem. But let me finish it off. Uh, hopefully you have tried it, you have solved it, and now you're checking your answer. But now it's very straightforward because we will have that uh, the projection onto the vector one, one, one of the vector 
1 to negative 1 is equal to the dot product of the two vectors on the top divided by the dot product of the vector onto which we're projecting by itself at the bottom. And then we need to scale the vector we're projecting onto by that number. So what do we get on the top? On the top, we get 2. The dot product is 2. On the bottom, we get 3. And then this is 1, 1, 1. So all together, what we get is 2 thirds, 2 thirds, 2 thirds. And that's it. That's our uh, projection. OK, so very simple once we know how this formula works and we saw what this projection represents. Uh, thanks for watching.